Well, good morning, everybody. Welcome back to JJ's PC Build. You know who it is. And also, too, you all know what time it's going to be. You know, it's time for Graphics Card Nightmares right here on the channel. And if this is your first time here, make sure you subscribe. And if you've already subscribed, which I see we got some new subscribers, welcome to the family. Welcome to JJ's PC Builds and my veteran subscribers, as always, much love to you for all that you do, helping support the channel by watching videos from beginning to end and telling your all friends to come on down and join the family. So let's go ahead and just jump down to it and get right on it. So we're going to go ahead and go to the action screen and we're going to get it started. All right. As you see, I already got DuckDuckGo already about. It's time to head to Amazon. Let's go to Amazon see what's happening this morning or today or wherever you're at. Let's see what's going to go. And also, too, make sure you got your drink and snacks with you as we're going to get on this Amazon. Let's see what's going on. All right. Now, if you go over to the All button at the top and click it on Computers. Uh, let's see. Now, well, they let's see. Uh. Graphics. Right there. Graphics card for gaming PCs. Alrighty. Hmm. I guess they slipped those in. You know, just looking at it, you know, let's let's look at this a little bit while it's here. Ooh. Ooh i5 6500 CPU with uh, one terabyte of an SSD. That means it's a SATA drive. 16 gigabytes of DDR4 and a 1032 gigabyte for 600 bucks. They got to be, sh you're going to be shot for selling that kind of system for 600 bucks. Thanks, Jay. I could do better and get a B550 motherboard, put it in a used case, and get me an awesome processor with, you know, a decent graphics card, which would be, you know, whatever you choose. But, you know, but 600 bucks, really? I'm sorry. I can't, I can't do that. 3060 12 gigabyte right here GDR6 12 gigabytes I got one of my viewers talking about a 4060 you know do keep in mind if you want to get a card that's around 300 bucks this is 289 just to let you know that so it's 289 it's not as powerful if you look at it in a 3060 to 12 gigabytes to a 4060 Ti being 8 gigabytes. I think you got like a 4 gigabyte different right here with this. You would have a little bit of an edge, you know. So it's something to look at, something to look at. You know, they are going for... Their 3060s are going for a good cheap price. I mean, I'm, I'm going to be honest with y'all. I mean, if you're looking for a $300, you know, GPU, they got th this one right here, 6700 XT for 329 They got a 4060 8 gigabyte for 329 Okay, now the 6700 XT is 12 gigabyte. So, again, 6700 XT for 309, cheaper than the 4060. So, um, I 
I just wanted you to get a good look at it because the 4060 Ti 8 gigabyte is $400. Okay. So if you're thinking about that, there are alternatives to looking for a decent graphics card. You know, that's not expensive. That's within budget. You know, you just, you just got, you just got to look. I mean, it depends like this one right here, 6,800 for 500 bucks right here, 6,800 for 500 bucks, 16 gigs. That's something to think about. Thirty seventy, yeah, it's not. It's, that's a nightmare right there. So, if if you look around and you keep looking around, you'll find what you're looking for. I had to pause in the moment right here in the video just to let y'all know. At the end, I will have a price list I will put out for you on the. The, the graphics cards that cost $250 to $300. I did some, um, I pulled up some charts on a PC part picker just to bunch it all up for this week, just to give you an idea of what a $250 to $300 graphics card will be. And I can tell you when I pulled it up, eh. You're going to have to stick to the end and we'll go ahead and we'll let y'all know what's going to be happening at the end of the video. So it got something for you. So better stick around and watch it all the way through. So let's get back to the video and do enjoy it. Okay. So, but anyway, let's go on over here to Newegg. But they do get a couple good deals on uh, Amazon, so let's go to New Egg and see what they got cooking. Oh, and I forgot to tell you another thing. Any of these companies that I show you, any of these websites or companies that I show you today, they're not sponsoring my channel. So maybe one day they will sponsor the channel, but I just wanted to let you all know they haven't sponsored my channel. But it'd be nice if they did because all the videos that I've done for them, you know, on their channel, you know, on their websites, you know, people ought to say, you know, hey, but you know how it goes. It's business is business as usual. But anyway, back to the video. We're kind of going you know, to shorten this, this one up, this video up on today. Looks like. New eggs getting start with their Black Friday deals. They are getting started with their Black Friday deals. Yeah, it looks like they're getting started. So, we're going to get started with looking for the deals. I mean, 4068 gigabytes for 300 bucks and don't think so go to amazon 409 for a 3070 ti 8 gigabyte no see the price on the 4070s went up the price on the 4070 did go up Oh well, yeah, it's sixty six hundred, one hundred and eighty nine dollars. That definitely that came down. Um, sixty seven hundred XT, three oh nine, not bad. Thirty sixty two forty nine, the white edition, not too shabby. Look at this, sixty nine fifty XT, sixteen gigabytes. 600 bucks. The price did come down from about uh, 640 to 599. So good deal there. $799, 800 bucks for the 7900 XT. 
3070 is 749. So, I mean, really? That, that, that's some sick deal there. 489, 6800 XT, 16 gigabytes. Right here. That's not a bad deal. I know how the 6800 XT acts like, and it acts just like the, the 4070 somewhat. Okay. And I know AMD and NVIDIA are two separate companies, and I know they do separate hardware and everything else, but we try to compare as much as we can, just to let you know that. And that is a refurbished Dell for 258 bucks. Huh. Interesting. Look at that. 4080, 16 gigabytes. That's eh, too rich for my blood. Let's let's keep moving on so that way we can see what's going on today. Um let's see. Still the same, about, about almost the same as being over there on Amazon. When it comes overall with some of the GPUs, it looks like it's about almost the same. I mean, there's not much more you can squeeze out of a turnip. Because obviously, you know, NVIDIA doesn't want to squeeze their prices down any lower. So, I mean... They got the 7800 XT 16 gigabyte for 519. 519. Damn! Look at this. Get Avatar Frontier of Pandora with select AMD products limited offer. Ooh, you get a limited offer too. 4070, 600. Azrock Steel Legend, Radiant 7800 XT, 16 gigabytes, 519. Y'all don't want to miss out on those deals, I'm telling you. Those deals are looking really crispy. You know, you got the Radeon RX 6700 XT, you know, nice crispy deals. 6750 XT for 429. That's still a really good deal. I mean, there are some, this one right here, the 8 gigabyte 6500 XT, I would not even touch that. And just be honest with you, I would not even touch it if they told me to. So, let's see. Yep. Yeah. A3080, 6 gigabytes, 119. If you're looking for a cheap on the cheap card, if you, if you want to take a dabble into Intel's Arc, you know, they got the 380 for 119, 6 gigabytes. I doubt that'll do you any justice, but it's always good. All right, we're moving on over to e waste, I mean, eBay. We'll move to eBay and see what they got cooking. <laughs> let's see. Graphic cards. Let's go down and do our normal thing. Buy it now. We don't want a Tesla card. 5700 XT. Not a bad shabby gaming card. $139.95, $140. $3080 FE, Founders Edition, $419. Eh, that's still too high. They should bring that down at least $100. $580, I'm um, not going anywhere near the $580s. $4070, $600. You can buy it brand new for $600. Uh, the A4500. It's got a PG-132, 20 gigabytes of GDR6. 439, 440. Not bad for the A4500. 
4,500. I say that it's not bad because unless you try this card, then, you know, you're not really going to know. But it's a blower style card. You know, that's that's kind of got me worried some, you know. But it's still got 20 gigabytes of GDR6. 20 gigabytes. I mean, what's that? A 7800 XT right here? Hopefully that it's just as powerful as 7800 XT for 439 Never know. That might be a good deal for somebody or a deal breaker, one or the other. Um, 1080. GTX 1080. 8 gigabytes. 115 are best offer. Oh, Lordy. I'm happy with what I got. When I got it. You know, just we're going to keep moving on down the road. 3080 Ti, 12 gigabytes, 619. Oh, wow. Let's see. I don't know, peeps. I can tell you that, you know, looking through these cards, I mean, I'm going to break it down to you. You got right here, just as an example, you got what the name is, and then you got the description. Make sure you look at the description carefully. And when you go to look inside, make sure you look at the description carefully. So this way you know you're going to get what you're paid for. But if you can't, then, you know, that's... It's going to be rough. You got one right here, 6750 XT, 389. Okay. 6950 XT, 16 gigabytes. 299 parts only. If you're looking to rebuild one, you know, 6950 XT, they got it for 300 bucks. You know, you probably spend about maybe 200 bucks in there just to, just to get it fixed. Nine out of 10. Or if it's got a blown, uh, uh, GPU chip, then, it, you know, that's a risk you're going to take right there. I would just walk away from it because I don't think it would be worth my time to, to deal with something that is beyond my repair capabilities you know especially the gpus now on motherboards you older motherboards you could be able to repair them with minimal stuff but the newer ones everything's all integrated and it's just it's not worth the headache to you know spend 50 60 bucks to fix something that you can turn around and get it for brand new for 120 bucks 130 somewhere in there so i mean i know i'm a little hesitant about things you know when it comes to ebay but you know looking at it you know it is what it is you don't want to get into something you can't get out of. Basically, you don't want to buy something that you're stuck with that's a paperweight. Really, really think about that. Radium Vega Frontier Edition, 16 gigabyte HBM2. Workstation graphics card. Okay. 250. What's the catch? It's a workstation graphics card. Who's going to pay 250 for that? You know, it's not going to have, you know, the everything that you need, probably. 
Workstation graphics cards don't game well. The way I always, I always, I always, you know, I tried to game with, you know, workstation graphics cards, and they don't game very well. Some do, some don't. You take a risk when you do that. You know, just stick with what you know, and that's the best way to go. Okay, we looked through eBay. Now we're going to go over here to Micro Center. And see what's cooking. Okay. Let's see what kind of deals Micro Center has today. Oh, they got their Black Friday deals out, it looks like. We'll probably do another video on the Black Friday deals. So hopefully we won't be too late when that happens. You know, but right now we're just dealing with the graphics cards. Yep, the graphics cards. Let's see. This is all store pickup, it looks like. Looks like it's all store pickup today. So, wow. 4070 for 549. It still comes with the game. You still got a great deal there. Um, 4070 Ti. Oh, 4090 Evo Edition. Overclocking. Looks like they're sold out there. Wow. 4090 sold out. Right here. Sold out. Oh. Uh, that means they ain't, they ain't getting no shipment in. That sucks. But they do have one here for $1,749. I'm just going to mumble that because, you know, they got a couple 4090s, 4070, uh, that's 600 bucks for the dual overclocked. They could have gave me a free game with mine, but ain't never going to happen. Look at this. 519 bucks for the Steel Legend AMD RX 7800 XT. That might not be a deal breaker. That is going to be something y'all are going to want to hit for 519. I can tell you that. 7800 XT. 500 bucks. 500 bucks. 500 bucks. Well, 520 bucks. 500 bucks. Look at this. 7800 XT. Yeah. Let's just move down the road and see what happens. Yep, 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 yeah. They do get some 4090s if you're looking for one, um, but you have to go in store. Yeah, 7800 XT 529. That's, that's the same price. But at least with the RTX 4070 being at 529. You can get a free game with, or is that 529 you said? I'll go back up. No, 549, sorry, 550 bucks. But still, you get a game with it. That brings it down to 500. So it looks like it's breaking even with... Uh, the 7800 XT. Let's see. What else they got? 
3060, 4060, 4060 Ti, 16 gigabytes, 489. Truthfully, it's, it's, it's hard to make a call on this because they're going to have the super, the, the super series come out and it's going to be, it's an impossible call. If you're looking for a graphics card now, then buy now. If you can wait it out and you want to see what the Super Series has, has to offer, then I suggest you wait till then. So, you never know. You might get a Super Series card and you might be happier with that than what they got for the, the regular normal SKU. You know, so that's something you have to take a look at. So, do we have anything that's of deal? Well, you got the 4060 itself, not the TI, but the 4060 for 309. 329, you got the 6700 XT fighter, you know, the power color fighter. 329. That's still not shabby. See, 234, 6650 XT. You're best to go up to the next one. But, okay. This is going to be the deal. And I did it again. Okay, this is the deal. And I told you all when I got to the end, I was going to show you on the action screen. We're just going to do it this way. All the price deals and everything else that's going on. Okay, now you go to PC Part Picker. Okay, I'm sliding this in real quick. When you go there, you go to the builder section. Then you go to the video card. And then you select your price, which if it's at zero, you set it for like, let's say $250, right? We're going to set the price range for that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to set the price range at $600. Okay. So now, and go over here to the corner, put the price from the beginning to the end, which will give you the cheapest. When you click the arrow up on the price over here in the right hand corner it'll start you off at 250 and as you see you go up and down the the thing here and you can get a good idea of what what it you know what you're looking for okay now for the memory size basically I'm going to tell y'all like this. I'm going to hit since I'm going to hit eight gigs of memory to uh, 16. This way it changes everything now. Okay. Now you got from eight gigabytes of VRAM to 16 gigabytes of VRAM. So, Anything that's in between 8 and 16, you'll see. Like they got right here, the Titan Sparkle OC. I don't think people are going to, they'll probably buy it. It's the A770. You know, I mean, for 289. I mean, and believe it or not, they got the, the, the 7600. Um, the ASRock Steel Legend OC, the 7600 8 gigabytes for 289. You see, you can, if you can get your hands on the, you know, how can I say this? If you can get your hands on an Intel Arc graphics card equaled out to the same price then you will be better off. Okay. 
Arc is, Intel Arc, they're doing better on the drivers and the software. So they are catching up. They are catching up. But, you know, they got Power, power Color Fighter, the 6700 for 319 and so on. Look, the whole purpose of this is, is to give you an idea, if you're going to start building your computer, okay, I'm going to tell you like this. If you're going to start building your computer, start at PC Part Picker. And, you know, design your own PC right there. Pick your own price point, and it'll And that will let you know if the parts are compatible or not. It's a very DIY, first-time user kind of thing. So don't forget, PCPartPicker.com. So let's... And, you know, I told you all I was going to show you a little bit of what I'm talking about. But if you're a first-time builder, start there, PCPartPicker.com. Okay. So let's get back to the video and do enjoy the rest. My conclusion is this. Graphics cards are starting to rise in the prices. But they might do a 360 and do a flip-flop on us and turn around. They, the NVIDIA 40 series might lower. They might lower the whole series just to fit in the Super Series. I'm already hearing rumors about the AIB partners getting pretty upset with the fact of having a very short list of pricing. You know, when you got to cut your corner in, in, you know, just in the midst of $50, AIB partners are not going to want to just make $50 off of every graphics card. So, you know, they're kind of getting the shaft themselves. So, NVIDIA, understand this. If you're going to sell graphics cards, lower the original 40 series that you got to make room for the Super Series so everybody's happy. But you know and I know with NVIDIA, they're not going to lower their prices. So... That's going to be wishful thinking in the space of computers. Just as for say, that's what should be done. I've already took you all through the A to Z. And also, too, if you made it this far to the end, and that this does conclude my... Uh, what's going on for me today but but if you did make it to the end i want to thank you for making it and we do appreciate it here also too if this is your first time watching the video and you haven't subscribed yet please subscribe and if you've already subscribed welcome to the family welcome to jj's pc builds and my veteran subscribers as always much love to you for all that you do helping support the channel and watching videos from beginning to end and also to telling your friends to come on down and subscribe Alrighty. so but until the next time in the next video this is jj on jj's pc builds we will see you on the next one Thank you.